Welcome back to the substandard leader of Fox Body Videos on this here man's used to. Used to. It used to. Good enough. Oh! Gosh, that's good. Ooh, good turn. A semi hard day at work. Mm. That's a good batch right there. All right. Got a little drag band business to take care of. Um, we got, as you well know now, we got put behind a little bit. And honestly, I don't regret the decisions that I made to work on the brain. Um, but it is disappointing. <laughs> we didn't just get to go test and tune. So what do we got here? This is our... Uh, Chinese throttle bracket. Well, it's in here, trust me. Wow, this looks amazing. You know? Hey, it's either gonna work or it's not gonna work. You know, we may have to do some modifications to it or whatever, but We'll see. Um, it did hit in the knife part. Um, we also got something, something else in the mail, which you guys, <laughs> you guys do stuff when you see me do stuff, and then you do stuff. So let's check this out, guys. We got a box in the mail, and I hope it has a pair of glasses in it, because I misplaced my reading glasses. I did not know where they are. Anyway. This is from Jason. I have no idea what it is. He said, I'm sending you something. And I don't know what it is. The box got a little open. I was coming, maybe I dropped my glasses in there. I doubt it. Though. What in the world? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. A giant fuel bladder deal. Um wow. <laughs> Dude, uh the only the only issue with this is that it doesn't have like a sump or whatever. It doesn't have a sump. Now technically speaking we can we can you know we can use a bulkhead fitting on it. We can use a bulkhead fitting on it. And you know, have a vent or return if we wanted. But we could do a bulkhead fitting on this. Man, this thing is freaking huge. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, Jason, I appreciate it. Golly, D Wiz, man. I mean, that thing's got all the fuel right there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we could bulkhead fitting it and just find some stuff at work to make straps for it. I'm gonna have to look and see how it fits compared to other stuff. You guys do not have to send me stuff. We will figure out our situations. Um, but I mean, we technically could make this work and it has all the capacity. We'd go broke trying to fill it. Jason, I appreciate it. I mean, you guys do too much for the channel anyway, for me, for the cars. <laughs> I had no idea what was in here until I opened it. My glasses are not in here, so. But we might, we, you can get bulkhead fittings. We can make that work. We just have to drill it out. And there we go, boom, it, it's doing what it needs to do. Uh, 
That's crazy. Oh my gosh, that thing's got to be like a twenty gallon or something. It's huge. Well, I say twenty. It's pretty big. Anyway, appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you guys kill me with this stuff. Oh my gosh. Yes, we got a giant fuel cell. Now that thing is <laughs> monstrous. So we've got all the range now. Uh, it's a 22 gallon deal. And again, I want to thank Jason for sending it. Of course, you know, I might, I may not, you may not have been like the most enthusiastic cause I'm like, oh man, what am I, you know? And I'm like, but now I'm like, Hey, it'll fit. You know what I mean? We'll figure it out on the whole dude. Well, I got one tire that's low. So anyway, that's great because we'll put the cell back in the Lincoln. We'll start it up like this. We'll put the cell back in the Lincoln. What we're gonna do on this is, is we're gonna um, just drill a hole in the bottom of it and put a bulkhead fitting in it and uh, just get some scrap metal and strap it down, secure it. Uh, you know, shoot, we can ratchet strap that thing in there. I mean, seriously, where's it gonna go? Uh, <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> um, I could literally drill like four holes and just put the hooks in and ratchet strap it down. Oh my gosh. That actually sounds kind of funny. Um, it would look amazing, honestly, look amazing. I'm happy that he sent that, that we're gonna use it. It's gonna be great. Uh, we'll have all the cruising range and then we can put that back in the Lincoln and you know, we're, everybody's happy, so. I'm going to give a shout out, and I'm going to mess this up. It's like Nick the Van Man, but I think it's actually Nick the Van 90, his YouTube channel. He's got a van, very basically it's the, this exact same van, except it's a cargo, which doesn't have the windows. Now, I didn't know that. You learn something every day. I don't really pay a lot of attention to stuff like that, but his is a cargo. It's got barn doors in the back with no glass. It's got no glass in it at all, except the front doors and the windshield. It's got barn doors on the side with no glass. If it had a set of roof racks, it would be perfect. The roof racks make it, you know what I mean? It makes it where you quite don't know what you're looking at. But he's building a inline 300 six cylinder uh, to go to the No Name Nationals, which is a YouTube YouTuber event thing. Um, but it's actually a really cool deal. I'm, I'm excited to see how how it works out. He's got very modest performance goals as far as ET, which I think is going to be way faster. Well, he hasn't really said he's like anything, the project snowballs, the engine went from being something milder to where it's now something a little racier. And, uh, he's hoping to get in the nines. I think nines are, I will say a cakewalk. He's not going to have a ton of gear in the back. So that might, that might hurt things a little bit, but, um, I think, it, I think it'll run in the nines. Eighth mile, of course. Let's not get crazy. Um, I'm hoping that we can outrun our best of an 894 with this. So we'll see. Gotta get it running first. We're listening to the radio so Rodney won't talk and we can get home because I'm starving. I'm not good at this video thing I accidentally. <laughs> I don't even remember what you just said either. I think I missed it though. And I did cuss too. You said, I'm not good. you said you'd never trade your passion for glory. Yes. And I said, never. That's not a YouTube sellout. Sellout. I mean, monetize, but I'm not making content. You know, got to pump out the content. You can't quit your day job. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'd be, we'd no. be even poor. <laughs> no. I cannot quit my day job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you this much. If I had to, if we had to rely on YouTube to, for my end of stuff, we wouldn't have been eating at five guys. We would have been eating at half a guy. <laughs> we'd be eating at we'd whole be, burgers. We, no, we'd be at the, in the soup line with the hobos. <laughs> with those five guys. Uh, yeah, so, home burgers. Yeah, home burgers. Like Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Like house burger. Yeah, house so, burger. That's Wonder what bread it is. with a yeah. juice soaked in the yeah, onions. We wouldn't even be Wonder Bread. That would be Walmart running, bread. Walmart great value. Bread. Yeah, great value. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, big lots or whatever. <laughs> Make it ourselves. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yeah. I can only imagine what Dollar Tree bread's like. Might be good. 
Yeah, yeah with the onions and bell peppers running down your arms. It's not McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Any, honestly, a house burger versus a McDonald's burger, that's not uh, a joke No, anymore. your burgers are better. Because, oh, there my yeah. fingers are in the way. Yeah. Good I'm job. not good yeah. at this. Here, let's do this, too. Yeah, I turned it the wrong way. You, you I had it the right way. I was just doing I screw this. Up all, you know? I screw uh -huh. up all the time, too, and I've been doing it for a long time. I still suck at it. I don't try and hone my, I don't try and hone my craft, my YouTube craft. Yeah. I don't hone it. I just keep making the same garbage. Holy smokes. I just hit my head. I'm pretty sure I hit that. Ouch. Oof. Wow. <laughs> that hurt. Thank God I had a hat on. Jeez. Whew. Anyway, oh God, just got off work. We got a minute or two, and uh, I figured we've got this green wire that we got from work. It was free. It's good wire too. It's not it's no cheap stuff. It's a good stuff. Um, and normally I run a uh, um, a relay on fuel. I just do it just because I'm a doofus. But uh, this time we're not, which probably come back to bite me. I can always put a relay on it later. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we're just gonna run a hot wire all the way up to the switch. And uh, maybe we'll zip tie some of this stuff up. Someone asked some of this stuff up. Someone asked me, you know, are you gonna use a Dell? No, uh, a Dell, what? That is a lot of work when I can just zip tie it with, you know, like some, a uh, little bit of insulation or something like that. Just come on, man. Don't, don't get crazy guys. Don't get crazy. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I, I think we'll just zip tie the wire first. I'll do the, I just want to try and start it. That's, I mean, that's, that's all we're really trying to do right here is just see if we can get it started. So let me get to work on this deal. I got electrical stuff right here. And guess what? We all know I suck at wiring, but I can crimp a butt connector with the best of them and wire nuts. I threw a male and female on it in case we put the relay in, we just do that. And instead of zip ties, got a better idea. Use electrical tape and not just any white electrical tape because the van is white and it matches, okay? Don't ever accuse me of not caring about cosmetics or knowing how to color match. I can't, I have been dressing myself for the last eight years. Just want you guys to know that in colors that match stripes and checks don't go together. I know that. Another thing I wanted to point out is I was watching a video the other day, uh, where someone was talking about exhaust and collectors. And if you uncap your vehicle at the track, it'll go slower promise and all this kind of stuff. I just want to say that's bullshit. Um, not every case is the same. For example, every, when I first got this van and wanted to start hot rodding it and stuff, I got on the F-150 forums and I'll be honest, must be a bunch of farmers on there because all they talked about was torque and this and that. No one was into hot rodding. Now the National Lightning Owners Club, Nylock, those guys are down with it, but those trucks are a little different. So long story short, this is all you will ever need. Just two and a half, some flow masters. This is it. Headers, you'll never need anything else for performance. I think I'm pretty sure I got the video where I took this to the track and it was running 908, 909, crap like that. And I told Pirate, I'll drop the pipes. He said, I dare you. So I did. And it picked up a tenth. Ran better mile an hour. It ran eights. As a matter of fact, it ran eights three in a row, which had never done that before. Um, so yeah, it was faster. Faster than the 60 foot. It was faster in elapsed time. It had better mile an hour. Now, if that's the case of you don't know, then why was it faster? Because it's supposed to always be slower. Stop with some of that stuff. Go to the track and prove it, is what I say. And not every car, it's not unilateral. So, some combos are different, man. But don't be getting on YouTube preaching about all this stuff. There are no absolutes. <laughs> there is no spoon. So now we can put a battery in it. And um, uh, we don't have the, we gotta tighten the carburetor down a little bit. My throttle cable, uh, I don't think is gonna work the way I want, but that's not the end of the world. I mean, we'll figure something out. It was just kind of a shot in the dark, see if it's gonna work with this cable and stuff like that. But um, I think it'll, I think the uh, kick down part of it 
will work for what I want. I just don't think the throttle part of it will. So we have to do a little uh, conjuring on this, but not a big deal. Just, um, you know, bumping the road. So let me tighten the carburetor down and then uh, we'll see if the pump will work. Pump some fuel up here, see if our gauge works, see if we got any fuel pressure and then we'll hit the, you know, we'll see if we can start it. Cause that's just, that's all we care about. We are in the captain's chair. I also want to point something out that I see this from time to time on different people's channels. And again, I'm not, I should not be criticizing anybody for anything, but if you've got a column shift car with a floor shifter, take the damn column out. It looks retarded. It does not look, it's not a good look. It drives me crazy. Is that in case of emergency? I mean, just in panic mode, you just, I don't know. Take it out. So then you just got, look like you know what you're doing. Okay, let's see what we got here. Huh? I hear something. I do not. We do not have much fuel. That pump may not be great. So let me pour a little bit more fuel in it and see if something happens and make sure it's not leaking everywhere. We added more fuel. Nothing on the old gauge. Oh gosh. I can feel something. Feel, feel vibration. Watch our regulators. We is not getting nothing. Which? Which disappointing. Our pump makes noise. It's not pumping anything. So we may have to take it apart. Yeah, we got, we got no, we got nothing. All right. Um, that's a bummer. <laughs> but not technically unexpected. That's how we roll around here. This one's already getting drawn out. But if you think old Tustin's going to leave you in a lurch, you should know me better than that. Well, I do leave you guys in a lurch a lot. Let's just, uh, So if we have a backfire, this thing will just really, really do something. Oh crap. Oh. Don't a man should know his own vehicle. Son of a are you kidding me with this right now? Damn it. Maybe Tussin is going to leave you in a lurch. All right, I got to even clean the battery case. Son of a biscuit. Damn drag van. All right, let's try it again. Come on. Mission on. Dang it. Son of a bitch. Dang it. Oh, my God. We put a big self-tapping screw in that negative deal to hold it. And we cleaned both terminals. And it's probably still going to crap on us. Oh, come on! Duh. Dang it! The only battery I got here too, besides the one in the car. Um, maybe I maybe the charger's over there. So let's try that. All hope is not lost, guys. Hang on. Battery charger's hooked up. Let's do this. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! Drink it. Drink it.
Jag van. Nick the van man. I tell you what, he better keep that 300 six cylinder up in Tennessee, where the hell he's from. He come down to Florida. He gonna get, you know. You know what he's gonna get, right? He gonna get it. He gonna get it, get it. Come on, let's go. Guys, here we go. Happy birthday, drag band. <laughs> oh, shit. Gosh, I swear, if we were any stupider, we'd be off the freaking evolutionary scale. Oh, God. All right. Uh... <laughs> hey, Jason, thanks for the fuel cell. We're going to put it, we're going to put it to uh, use. We can fit a whole dinosaur in there, a whole stegosaurus worth of fossil fueled um thanks for commenting thanks for <laughs> subscribing thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel honestly i couldn't do it without you and i wouldn't do it without you how about that i just quit this damn thing and call it a day um but especially thanks for watching and if you watch this one bless your heart pat yourself on the back tell yourself you're a solid citizen that you helped old tuss it out on this here YouTube. <clears throat> and until next time, speaking of that, on Substandard Leader, Fox Body Videos, one year, uh, on this year, man's YouTube, damn it, one year only Lincoln Town Cars, twin turbo town cars, four drag bands in all its glory. Woo, smells a little something, though. Um, and proud owner, proprietor, you guys know Club Big Boost open for business. Open for business. Business is booming. Well, I don't know if I want to use that term, Business is good so far. We've had a very nice opening. It's been very pleasant, better than I thought it would be. So we're good. we got more big boosts coming in the future. Speaking of, and as always, fighting the good fight against them zombie Mustangs. We'll be looking at Rob here. Hopefully, man, I hate to give timelines because I'm terrible at them. But at some point, we're going to be looking at Rob here. Um, so we'll see. And as always, fighting a good fight against Dr. Fear. No fear of that when you're driving one of these. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, the combination for the drag van and all the other cars should be listed in the description of each video if you have any questions. We'll see you guys later. Hey, it made noise and it had fire shoot out of it, so that's a bonus.